Welcome to my series on Sim City Build It. Welcome back. Today we're talking about trade. And you have man, you produce raw materials in your factories there, which then you can transfer over to your shops, which manufacture goods. If we look at our city journal, there are three areas in the early going of trade. We have SIM offers, the Trade Depot, and the Global Trade Headquarters. And each of these has three achievement levels. You get a prize for each. Pop some bubbles. And our first item was SIM offers. And these appear in the thought bubbles that have the simoleons. And some have check marks which are able to be completed at this time or ones without. Now, this person, the mayor of Willow Woods, is looking for French sweaters, which are a specialty item. She wants seven of them. Now, they're offering 7,500 simoleons, but French sweaters, being a specialty item used to improve the residences in your French villages go for 1350 at fair market value or 1800 at full retail so that's a lot more we say no thanks and a second type of offer are these which are almost impossible to fulfill he wants 15 tape measures. Now, I'm busy producing materials for upcoming shipments, cargo shipments, and this, but this is a really good deal because tape measures have a fair market value of 82 simoleons or 110 at full retail. So if we do quick math, 110 times 10 is 1100 and half again is 650 so that's 1700 and 1700 is far less than 2200 so we'd like to work on this one in our off time when we get a chance and if we can ever get up to 15 will take advantage and if you want to take advantage of an order like this you click away from the screen and not on the no thanks button so thank you very much for this offer because this this guy knows a guy you know cops they always know a guy right <laughs> The uh, person who presents the offer is at the facility that you have. The third type of offer uh, here is for some raw materials, these seeds, which go for 22 simoleons apiece. So three would be 66. So this is a good deal to get 100 simoleons, and we get to help out the city's llama scouts. And so this one will take the offer and send the simoleons into our bank and again we'll pop some bubbles now we just got rid of some of those so we'll collect some and we'll put some in production up oh, it looks like we're going on a junket to fish them now I don't like to show these I talked about them last time and uh, these junkets, when they pop up in the factories, instantly produce the item that you were that you clicked off of. So we usually try to do this for long time items or items that we need. So goodbye, fished them. When we see those are ready, up oh, I collected one accidentally, so I may as well collect them all and start up some more in production. I do use seeds quite a bit. They produce the vegetables in the farmer's market. 
The next area of trade is the depot, and every city has its own depot. This is where we put goods up for sale. And if you want to create a sale, you click on it and it gives you your city storage. And we're going to take some of those vegetables. We're going to max out the price to 160 and we'll bump it up to 3 Then you have to click the put on sale button or put tap it. And these go for these sell fairly quickly on the global market. And then you tip, tap away from the screen. The next area, oh, tap some bubbles. Next area of trade where you can buy goods that you need is the Global Trade Headquarters. The Global Trade Headquarters is a good source for finding things that you need in your city. Sometimes you can find specialty items. It's loading a little slow today. Sometimes you won't find anything that you really want right now. But you can visit other cities by tapping on them and seeing what they have. So let's see... Oh, well, this is going to refresh. Oh, we're going to go to another city. And we're in Rising Sun. And again, he has more items in his trade depot than he was advertising. So, while we're here, we'll look around his city, because sometimes when you visit another city, when you're visiting mayor, they will offer you, they will give you gifts to thank you. Now there are no gifts here, so let's look back at the Go Global Trade Headquarters and see if anything else has come up that we may need. You know, we have grass there. We have plenty of grass in our city storage for the time being. Let's visit Mutzenzich, which is another small town, but you see the little bubble there. He's going to reward us by giving us three chemicals. And chemicals, like I said, take two hours to produce. So that was a very generous offer, Mayor. We want to say thank you and good luck to you and your city. When you pop these bubbles, you think that the actual mayor is giving them to you, but they come from the game. They don't come out of his storage. Oh, now we have tape measures. There's some vegetables and... We'll visit one more city here. Maryland. And they just have the chemicals. And we just got some from the last city that we visited, so we don't need those. But while we're here, we can take a look around the city. Looking around the city may give you ideas for different layouts or ideas for your city or things that you may wish to add to your city. So it's a good idea to take the time. And the gifts are nice if you have the space in your city storage. Again, this person is just starting out. Once more to the global headquarters. And at this level, oh, chairs, look at that. But the the Global Trade Headquarters will only show you items for sale which, course, which you can produce yourself. You can't buy advanced items. So we'll go to one more city here. Let's take a look. Come on. At uh, Schopiefland City, and this is a little bigger city. And we'll rotate around, see if he's done anything on the beach. He's got a little, a few things on the beach there. And we look around. Oh, look, a gift. And we got some minerals. Thank you, Mayor. Appreciate it. 
Minerals take 18 or 20 minutes. Oh, look. He has a Ferris wheel. Now, there's a neat item you might want to add to your city. And he has this section over here with these, this really cool housing. I don't know. I've, I don't know how to get that yet. I'm not at that level. And he's got more shops. So we'll go home. And that's how you use the Trade Depot, which you see we've sold our vegetables and we've collected our simoleons. Then we pop all the thought bubbles. Darn, I, I, I literally I tap buttons and I'm in the wrong place. Oh my goodness. Okay, today we're going to look at the cargo ship dock and when a ship is coming before when it when it's coming it takes an order this time for the IP clone corporation they want tape measures hammers and minerals and they tell you this as soon as they leave the dock when the next shipment will be so well you can prepare for these which is why it's hard for me to produce those tape measures and we'll wait for the ship to come in to highlight some of the graphics of SimCity Build It. We have a dirigible going out past Dr. View's boat there. And our ship will be coming in here in just a few seconds. And you can see that I still have some, the contest of mayors has to be developed. I think that's at level 15. Here comes the ship. He's just chugging along. And this is just to highlight some of the graphics of the game. You don't often get to just sit and watch these. You have to time them. And he's pulling up to the dock now. And when the ships pull up to the dock, they will blow the horn three times to alert you. They blow it twice, and then they wait a minute or about uh, 30 to 60 seconds and then they'll blow it again to alert you in the game that you have a ship. One of the neat sound effects and one of the details of the game that I really enjoy. Now I have been working on the last shipment so I have the items. Well I don't have all of the items. The minerals are in the factory still but I do have I have been working on this and I hope I have that because they don't tell you the amount now you can if you when the ship pulls in you can box up some of the items that you have if you have all of them it's ideal because some of these offers are pretty low ball and so you you're you think you're losing money but you're gonna get a gold key now, if you don't like this shipping, you can request a new ship. You see the button, and they will take an order for another company. Now, I have the tape measures and the hammers, but I don't have any storage space in my city storage. That's why the minerals are showing up as red right now. So let's go ahead and... Uh, We'll box up some of these and then we'll go collect our minerals and come back after we put some more into production. I am recording this after I film because I didn't turn the microphone on so I don't know the exact timing of these. I apologize for that. If you don't have the items and you wish to fulfill this order, the ship stays in dock for 17 18 hours and you can let ships come and go but they come every six hours if you're ready for them so waiting 18 hours is missing missing out on four shipments let's box those up and collect the simoleons and it's raining and you see i have them already produced now that I have the space 
we'll add more to the queue and we'll come back and we'll box those up and now you can cast off make sure you hit the cast off button because that's how you collect your golden key and the golden key will go into our city treasury and the ship will take, a, take off from the dock and head out to sea and again we're highlighting some of the excellent graphics and detail that this game has to offer and he goes through the channel and out past Dr. Vu's boat and bye bye uh, if we go back to the dock you see we already have an order it says ship is coming in six hours and they're going to want vegetables chairs and seed so I can get busy working on that for the next six hours again they don't tell you how many they're going to want so it's always nice to have them on hand if we move over to the airport and that dirigible when I move my screen see a plane taking off one going past overhead there's a lot of time in the game where you can't watch these things but we have one coming here in two hours and for a shipment to France so again they announce beforehand what goods they're looking for so you can produce those and it, see we're gonna need tape measures again so that's why I can't produce those darn tape measures So we look in our city storage and we see what we have on hand to see how we're doing to fulfill those orders. And I'm down to five tape measures, so I'm going to produce some tape measures just in case she wants more. And I have some time. What else did she want? Okay, we have uh, we have everything else. Just need some tape measures. Oh, we're gonna collect that lumber, and we're gonna start producing. Oh, we can't produce any nails. Let's let's wait on that a second. If you click on these you can see what raw materials are needed and how many you have in city storage. Well I needed some steel to produce that or I was just out of steel. I don't have any ore. Yep, let's produce a brick. Now we collect a hammer and we're looking for those tape measures to go into the next shipment so we'll produce three tape measures put them in the queue and we'll be ready when that plane arrives pop all the thought bubbles your sims will give you gifts and they will alert you to situations but they do get repetitive that's just the way it is and that's my French residences that I'm working on and I could produce I could upgrade these but I don't want to upgrade because when you upgrade you get experience points and that's how you level up and I set goals before I level up yep. a lot of times I have fat fingers now see I can I've completed my French deliveries and but I still have to build the Arc de Triomphe and the Eiffel Tower before I receive my award. And to get any of those, I have to be at level 13, or I mean 30. And I am currently at level 14, so that's not going to happen anytime in the near future. And 
And we're going to pop some more thought bubbles. This is my lake. I like it in front of the university with the cobblestone bridge. Okay, and the time has come to collect my free gift. Oh, I got hammer, nails, and some simoleons. Thank you for my daily gift. That's another mayoral junket. Well, those two hours have passed, so let's go to the airport where we're waiting a cargo plane looking for vegetables, tape, and dimensional lumber, measuring tape. And he's going to be arriving in 30 seconds, so we're going to take a look. You see that I have an unlocked deliveries to either London or Tokyo and when you unload the unlock those you can start building houses in that style Don't you love the rain details details and another dirigible and an offer to buy some cash so we have everything we need we hope for this to arrive, let's make another tape and another tape. Because once we make them, we're out, and there's the big cargo plane, and he's got a, a puffy nose, and we'll watch as he pulls it into the hangar, and the nose goes up, and you notice the truck over by the deep, by the uh, building there has the French flag on it. Eventually you'll have more, you'll have a British truck and a Japanese truck. So you can see that I've already produced all of these goods and my reward for fulfilling this order is to get one of those French sweaters that I mentioned earlier in the video, which is used to upgrade our Parisian quarters. And if you don't have the items, the, this plane will sit on the tarmac for 10 hours. But I have them all, so we box them up and we collect the simoleons. And then you have to hit the takeoff button. If you don't hit the takeoff button, you don't get your sweater. And after 10 hours, the plane will take off on its own. And again, some of these offers are not very good offers. So... Don't fill the boxes unless you're going to fill the entire order. So now, let's see. The truck is going, and he's going to just drive right into the airplane. He doesn't even, he doesn't even come back out. He just stays in the airplane, and they will close up the nose real soon. And we'll watch him take off and head to Paris, head off to Paris. He makes a quick bank, and he's out of here. So those are the sources of trade. You have your Sims, you have your depot, you have the global headquarters. The Sims. I took that offer, okay. The global headquarters. The cargo, the shipping cargo. Which is due in three hours. And the air freight. Which this time wants cement, grass, and dimensional lumber or planks if you prefer. So you, this is how you build your bank, or you can buy goods. And if we go back to those city achievements, you can see that, we, that we're, we're going to take a look and see what's coming up here. Okay. 
importer. So if you buy goods at the global trade headquarters, you can earn stars. Pilot for air shipments, and I've already completed 30 of those. And there again, there are three stars, so you keep getting bigger awards. Captain, I've completed two of the stars. I'm almost up to 200. When I get to 250, I'll get 30, 30 sim cash. Master Trader, uh, which is trade and earn that money. And then after that, I can become a Master Captain. And by getting to these different levels, you do earn sim cash, which you can use later in the game. Well, I thank you very much for joining me. Pop all those bubbles. And I hope this has been helpful. And I'll see you next time.